Germs are everywhere. We can't see them, but they're in the air and they're on every surface and item we touch. Many are relatively harmless, but some can cause serious illness, especially to hospitalized patients. What if we could actually see germs and how they are transferred in the hospital room when a patient is placed on a hospital bed? Let's take a look with the help of a fluorescent marker and special lighting at how bacteria travels during a patient's stay. Glow germ fluorescent markers have been a widely accepted product for simulating germ activity for nearly 50 years. 99% of its properties and physical characteristics are the same as those of bacteria. Its particle size mimics bacterial activity well. A patient occupying a hospital bed sheds about 1 million skin cells onto the bed every day. Add to this the potential of other bio burdens such as urine, feces, emesis blood, and other bodily fluids, along with the spores, viruses, and bacteria from known or unknown infections such as Clostridium difficile, and you have a tsunami of potential contamination on a bed during a patient's stay. We used one ounce of fluorescent marker as a conservative estimate to simulate the contamination already present on a mattress. Actual contaminants could vary widely based on the patient population and their health conditions. A hospital bed is the epicenter of care in a hospital. Visitors, nurses, doctors, and other personnel come into contact with the patient and the bed throughout the day and night, making it also the epicenter of cross-contamination, as was documented in this infection study. While we know that bacteria are everywhere in our environment, patients in hospitals are at a greater risk of additional infection from certain antibiotic-resistant bacteria and other dangerous pathogens that are present in healthcare facilities. In a hospital, bacteria can spread from a variety of surfaces, including soft surfaces like a hospital mattress. By a caregiver whose hands have come in contact with germs on a contaminated surface and then touch a patient. A patient may also contact germs by touching the surfaces around him, such as bed rails, electronic buttons, and the porous linens covering a mattress that may carry residual contamination from previous patients who occupied the bed. To demonstrate residual mattress contamination, we have seeded a mattress with white fluorescent marker to represent the residual germs and then covered it with an impermeable mattress cover from Trinity Guardian. Notice how easily the fluorescent marker becomes airborne and ends up on the caregiver's hands. The bed sheets have been seeded with orange fluorescent marker to simulate the previously mentioned soils of the current patient. If a patient is immobile, he or she must be moved every two hours, by law. Most are moved or turned more frequently depending on their condition in the hospital's policy. This means that over a 24-hour period, caregivers would be turning a patient at least 12 times and sending significant amounts of bacteria into the air to settle on surfaces in the patient room from that activity alone. After only a few moments of typical movement on the bed, we can see that the orange fluorescent marker has already penetrated through the bed sheets and contaminated the underlying mattress. It also went through the pillowcase and onto the pillow and has spread by error to the patient, the caregivers, and the bed rails, demonstrating that bacteria can spread in a matter of minutes. And that's not all. The orange fluorescent marker is already all around the room and can even be found on things like furniture, and equipment that haven't even been touched by anyone. This has all occurred because of human movement in the room, even with the room's ventilation system turned off. Here's a shocking statistic. A 2014 study from a hospital burn unit showed that during a dressing and bed sheet change, the level of bacteria in the air near the bed rose from 212 to 2,614 colony forming units per cubic meter. This adds more evidence to the fact that beds and mattresses contribute significantly to cross-contamination and infection risk. Now let's remove the Trinity Guardian patient protection system. Notice that no orange fluorescent marker has made it through the mattress or the bed deck, thanks to this impermeable barrier cover. Also notice the white fluorescent strike through from the mattress, which illustrates the importance of intact mattress surfaces for reducing transmission risk. Studies have shown that bacteria and viruses can survive on surfaces for up to 140 days. If those potential pathogens were still living on a hospital mattress, the Trinity Guardian Patient Protection System would have prevented the current patient from being exposed to them. 
In a second demonstration, this time without using the Trinity Guardian patient protection system, we show how bacteria from a variety of sources contaminates a room. We seed the bed deck with the orange fluorescent marker and the mattress cover with the yellow marker. The patient undergoes a series of typical movements as we track how fast and how far the contaminants spread from bed deck and mattress to the rest of the bed, the linens, the patient, caregivers, and all around the room. If a visitor sits down on the bed, he too carries contamination to other parts of the room and will take it with him when he leaves. After the patient is discharged, the bed is prepared for terminal cleaning. The linens are removed, the bed is disinfected using a leading quaternary cleaner and disinfectant dispensed from a mixing station. Most hospitals in the U.S. follow this procedure according to a 2012 survey conducted by Xavier University. It's worth noting at this point there is no proven method available for determining how effective a soft surface disinfection process is. Many swabbing techniques are ineffective. And adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, meters don't work well on soft porous surfaces either. The staff uses microfiber rags folded into quarters. They dip it into the bucket of cleaner disinfectant only once and flip the microfiber rag over to a new section after each wipe. They remove all visible soils, then make up the bed for the next patient. Now, let's turn on the black light and see if anything was missed. Notice all the areas where the fluorescent marker is still apparent in bed deck corners and crevices and other areas of the bed frame, and all over the mattress. Notice all the residual fluorescent marker on the mattress surface after using the disinfectant. Hospital mattress fabrics are not completely smooth and can trap bacteria in microscopic pores as a result of uneven texture. Also notice the contaminants on the side rails, which the patient never touched during the demonstration. As you may know, hospital beds and mattresses are considered by the United States Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, to be Class II reusable medical devices. Under this classification, these types of devices should undergo specific rigorous pre-cleaning and disinfection practices to render them safe for use. Also, hospital mattresses are considered to be a porous, soft surface by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, and there are no hospital-grade disinfectants currently on the market that are able to meet regulatory requirements for disinfecting soft surfaces. To further complicate things, the 2015 FDA guidance document on reprocessing reusable medical devices requires different cleaning protocols for different organisms and types of biological soils, which creates a big challenge for environmental services professionals. The bottom line, due to the nature of mattress covers, it's nearly impossible to properly disinfect a mattress to the level required of a reusable medical device. Two peer-reviewed studies in major infectious disease journals have proven that the typical hospital bed disinfection process only killed 80% of the germs on the bed. The reality is that any hospital patient, including you, me, or someone we love, is at risk suffering a healthcare-acquired infection if we spend time in a hospital bed. Fortunately, Trinity Guardian has a proven, reusable, launderable solution that can actually remove bio-burden from the room and greatly reduce the risk for every patient and every caregiver, every day. Find out more at www.trinityguardian.com.